I am an impact maker. I was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin lymphoma, T-cell lymphoma, in the summer of 2006 uh, after kind of a battle going back and forth uh, because we didn't have a lot of resources and money. It was a shock. It kind of uh, it was a devastation to my family and to, uh, to my life in general. You know, you're going about your life in one way and then you hear about this, this, uh, this change that's going to affect not only your life but your families. When you're having cancer, you're seeing other individuals that's affected by cancer, whether you're going to your oncologist or you're in the hospital. So it only is an effect as far as what I'm dealing with, uh, but being in the space of folks dealing with cancer uh, was definitely something to experience. It was truly a challenge, uh, but it gave me a great appreciation for life. What do you do after you have cancer? Do you just kind of sit and, and, and sit in your sadness, or do you take action and do something? I think uh, that's why I'm happy about the American Cancer Society. Uh, because it's an outlet for folks like me who are survivors to want to do something. If it's just getting in the march, if it's helping another person that's dealing with cancer, uh, if it's just becoming more educated on what you had or what you just dealt with. So it's all different things. After I was uh, you know, free from cancer in 2007, I said, let me do something. So I got involved with the American Cancer Society Cancer National Network, went to D.C., uh, went to Springfield, and advocated to my elected officials to fund of various items of uh, regard to cancer survival. So, and I felt great about that. So that was my way of fighting back. I support the American Cancer Society so they can fight cancer from every angle. <laughs>